So many people go through life not knowing what they want to do. I've always known what I wanted to do. I've known since a little kid that I would be a musician. I wasn't thinking about my prostate, you know. My uh, nurse practitioner, she just says, well, have you been checking your prostate regularly? And I go, nah. You know. One of the reasons that patients come to us is to see whether we can potentially treat their tumor, treat their cancer, but still preserve their quality of life. I went to Stanford. Every six months they would check me. Well, my numbers started rising. They did all the tests and you got a problem. So that was, I mean, to get emotional, surprised me. I didn't feel bad. It was more that I thought about missing my kids, you know, but. I try to get a holistic view of patients, and then we'll talk about what options are available. What we offer here for select patients is treatments that we refer to generally as focal therapy. And the preservation of urinary and sexual function after treatment is really the primary driver for focal therapy in general. When you first meet Mr. Washington, he's very charismatic. When we talked to him, we had new tools available that we could bring to bear that were now MR guided. We could tell him, yes, we can treat this area safely and preserve function. Their focus and their confidence gave me confidence. Dr. Sohn says, well, you can do the ultrasound, which is not so invasive, and we've had good results. The transurethral ultrasound approach, patients will be brought into the MRI scanner. The procedure then involves placement of a long probe through the penis up into the bladder and then ultrasound is used to heat the prostate without damaging the urethral wall. The recovery process is really quite quick. There are no cuts in the skin, and it is minimally invasive. The collaboration is not just between me and the patient. It's a multidisciplinary effort here. Dr. San and I work closely together. We have a team of physicians here who have expertise in MR imaging and use that expertise to optimize the imaging for these MR-guided interventions. Come in early. They prep you, and you, that evening I'm going home. I haven't had any problems. They check me every six months. Now, I know that it can reoccur, but so far, so good. I'm pretty much at the point where I was before I had the surgery. We followed Mr. Washington carefully since the procedure. The area that we treated looks great. He's reported a preservation of function. He's delighted. That was our goal. Treat his cancer, preserve function. Black men in my community, they don't think about it till it's too late. I was fortunate they caught me early. When you have a facility like Stanford, let them help you. Get checked regularly because I'm a success story. We try to think of how can we use PSA screening better? How do we continue to screen while reducing this problem with overdiagnosis and overtreatment? The combination of active surveillance for low-grade prostate cancer plus selective use of focal therapy for intermediate-grade prostate cancer makes screening for prostate cancer more attractive. I don't have what I would consider a bad day ever. Some are better than others. My music is a healer. After meeting Dr. Son, Dr. G, I gotta keep up with those two guys. Do my part. <laughs>